Hey, what's up? It's Erica. Today I'm teaching you how to do the middle splits. So perfect for those of you who are completely not flexible at all. No splits, back bends, none of that crazy stuff needed. Just follow this daily and you will get your middle splits so, so fast. Let's get started. First, we're gonna use a foam roller to go over any tight spots in your body. If you don't own a foam roller, that's totally fine. A soccer ball, basketball, or you can roll up a bunch of towels into a cylinder and that works very well too. I go over calves, hamstrings, and each glute because these are the primary areas of the lower body, but feel free to roll out anything else that feels tight. Snow angel starfishes, this is great for elongating your limbs and really opening up any tight spots in the body. Visualize trying to make the angel skirt and sleeves as wide as you possibly can. Now tuck your legs and open them up into a happy baby slash open squat position. Now rock back and forth side to side like roly poly. This is really good for opening up the hips and it's also gonna feel really, really comfortable. And just hold it there for a few seconds as wide as you can go. Feel your legs opening up and let the air just sleep into your thigh. Lateral leg lifts. Open your clothes, your legs into V's as wide as you can go. It's okay if they're not perfect, but a good trick to get them wider is to focus on using speed and momentum to get your legs to snap further to the ground. Once you hit the bottom point, just seesaw back and forth, rock side to side. This is great for opening up your hip flexors and adductors. Once you've reached your maximum point, just hold it on the bottom. Next, we're going into a cobra position. If you like, you can elevate your hips onto a mat for this. Now the goal here actually isn't so much to get a super deep back stretch, but to feel your hip flexors open up and stimulate your tailbone, which is that band right where the pelvis and the lower spine connect. Twist side to side, feel the nice stimulation, nice pressure into each hip, each flexor, each glute, going side to side, getting a nice movement. Relax backwards into a wide child pose. This is great for rounding out your back, stretching out the outer hamstring and gluteus maximus. Go up into an upright froggy sit. Now even though your legs are in a really similar position as that wide leg child pose, you're actually working different muscles. Over here, you're doing more inner thigh slash gluteus minimus, which is that inner part of your booty. So this is actually really good booty exercise too for tightening and toning. Now for bouncy squats, these are super fun. If you don't have a red bouncy ball, you can stack up some pillows or something and that works totally fine. Go into a center lunge turned out position and you're just gonna bob up and down side to side to and fro, feeling every muscle, every piece of tissue moving and loosening up. Hold that same position, but you're gonna push that bouncy ball out of the way. Just push all the way down, nice and turn out. To deepen out your stretch, really focus on using arm strength to push your knees outward. You can lower down to elbows if needed. Now bend up and straighten your legs out. This will stretch out your hamstrings and your calves. If you can't reach the floor, that's okay. Just grab your ankles. Now circle out your ankles, both directions, right and left. Hitch one leg and open up so that you're turning out. This could also be helpful if you have a partner push down on your outer leg for you. If you want to challenge yourselves, try to make that leg completely straight. Now turn your knee inward the other direction, so you're going to stretch out that outer hip, basically the outside of your butt. To challenge yourself again, make that leg straight. <laughs> 
And we're gonna repeat all these on the other side too, so we even out the flexibility. These exercises are also really good for learning your side splits. And if you're interested in learning those too, I will link them right here in the description below. Now technically you don't have to have your side splits to be able to do a middle split, but they are a really good skill to learn and have under your belt. So you should definitely go check those out. Really feel a nice pull in that outer glute. Feel the outside of your butt getting nice and rounded out. And just hold that a couple more seconds, really feeling that stretch through the hips. Amazing, now it's time to learn how to actually get in those middle splits. So first go into the center, lunge on the bouncy ball. Then open your legs up straight. Then roll forward like you're going into a push-up position, except you're keeping your legs wide. Nice flat back, extending that spine. Then scooterina forward and backward, to and fro, sort of like you're crawling in a push-up position. Feel the bouncy ball stimulating, touching, pressuring different points throughout your legs and your hips. There's a lot of itty bitty tiny muscles in your thighs and your hips that are very hard to get to just by stretching on your own, so that's where this comes in handy. On the very last one, you're gonna roll right off of the red bouncy ball. And you're gonna notice your legs actually get quite a bit lower. Chop a limb, go down onto your elbows, nice straight back, and bobble bounce slightly back and forth to and fro. This will naturally bring your body center of gravity down a little bit lower. The mat stack method, so take a few mats and stack them on top of each other, as many as you need. Then ease and open your legs into a perfect straddle right on top of those mats. Make sure your legs are perpendicular in one plane with your upper body and your butt's not dipping forward or backward. One good trick is to push down on your quads while maintaining a perfectly straight back. This will keep your hips square and stable. Next is pancake, so roll forward onto your palms. And when you're ready, lower down to your elbow so that your back is in a completely flat back plank position. Once you're comfortable with that, eliminate one mat so you're gonna go just a little bit lower to the ground. And then we're gonna repeat those stretches. Starting with the upright straddle, nice wide open legs, pointing those feet, really focus on extending. Roll down wrist to elbows, going into that pancake plank middle split position. A little sassy, throw in some shimmies, some hip twerks. This actually is a really good way to loosen up any tight hip muscles and get a little lower. Now we're gonna do the middle split on top of just one very thin mat. Now even though this mat is very thin, the feeling of having a thin mat underneath your hips your body has that committed to muscle memory, so it will much more naturally slide into a middle split if you have that mat right there. Now, if you have bony ankles or you're having trouble getting that last little bit of your hips down flat to the ground, spread out two mats slash pillows really, really wide apart from each other and get on top of the middle split from there. And just like we did earlier, lower down to your elbows and bob ever so slightly forward and backward. In the combination of these two, bring your body center of gravity lower down to the ground. Open up your elbows out into chicken wings because then you cover a slightly broader span on the ground. This also helps add extra resistance against the floor so your hips don't have to do all the work. And also try pushing down on your thighs and butt behind you so you can ensure and lock your middle split in place. And there you go, you got it. 
Thank you so much for watching. So I know these are a challenge, but you did such a great job. Just follow these every single day, and I promise you will get into your middle splits faster than you could ever imagine. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Insta and Snap and send a comment below if you have any questions whatsoever. I always reply. See you soon in my next video. Bye!